Hello everyone, what's up? Brandon Stove Team here with another review. Today I'm reviewing Lego Bionicle set number 70786. Golly, the master of water. So, here she is, but before we take a look at her, let's look at the box. Here's Golly, with looking old Golly E. Uh, Lego Bionicle Mask of Creation. Ages 7 to 14, of course that's just a suggestion, they have to put that on there. Uh, 70786, 87 pieces. It's a building toy. Tuit de construction, junguit para constructor. I don't speak those languages. Uh, golden mask of water, silvisco spider. Um, uh, don't eat the pieces. Um, golly, said that already. And, golly, master of water. On the back, we have her looking like a typical toe of water swimming through see with her trident a uh, combination model advertisement a false advertisement for how gold the mask is it's not that gold actually it's also bigger hmm because this says actual size this is just the teeniest bit bigger so that's interesting um the more let different languages for golly gear function advertisement you can flick her mask off and put the skill spider on and then we've got the comic, another case where there's the mysterious red skull spider, because that does not exist in the sets. The, uh, it's odd. I don't know, maybe we're going to get a uh, red skull spider here in the future, but anyway, uh, Golly swims in, grabs the mask, and then does something with her trident, and then saves the protector of water. So that's pretty much it for the box. So moving right along, uh, the set comes with Golly, of course, Skull Spider. It's silver, typical Skull Spider. And here we have her with her gigantic trident. It is the trident is really big. I mean, you got the two ends here. And. Uh, it is quite large. So, uh, she's pretty decent, decent figure. She's not the tallest, or she's not the smallest either. Um, she actually looks kind of feminine, so that's that's nice because you know, back in the olden days, you know, if you didn't, if you weren't uh, a fan of Bionicle already, you would just pick up Golly, thinking she was a guy, until being told otherwise. Um, she's got shoulder pad armor, kind of similar to Tahu, doesn't work quite as well. You have to keep it like that or else it gets in the way of her face. Like this stupid trident, get out of the way so we can see her. Um, she's got spikes on her heels for some reason. Uh, same piece, that is the leg, part of the leg pieces on Kapaka and uh, part of the chest piece on Onua. Uh, she's got some transparent blue pieces, green eye stock, gear function with two gears for some odd reason. I haven't really figured out why there's two, but you move this and then her trident arm will move. It's another another one of these where uh, also it the arm will not move this way because that kind of gets in the way of the chest piece. So that's a little aggravating, but oh uh, well. Uh, that's really her only other function besides this trident. So, um, let's move the, let's convert this into her little board thing, or not, or paddles, whatever. So then we've got, so you can take this and put it on her feet. like such maybe there we go do the same on this one if it'll get in there there we go and then all you have to do is flip this around in her hand and there you have golly ready to swim in the water. But oh no! A devious skull spider has knocked her mask off! 
and has now taken control of her. Lara, ooh, hey, that looks really good, actually. Hmm, look at those eyes. That looks very nice. But, she knocks the skull spider off and then gets her elemental mask of water, which is the only bit of gold on her. I really like the gold on the uh, on these smaller $15 sets because the gold really stands out more because it's the only golden piece on her. Uh, you know, like with Liwa and Gali and Pohatu, there's the golden mask on them, and then that's the only gold on them. So, I mean, it really looks like they've got a powered-up mask. But then with Onua, Tahu, and Kopaka, especially Kopaka, um, the gold just kind of blends in more with the color scheme. So... Eh. But oh well. So, let's give her back her trident. I'm removing. Yeah. These always come off. Uh, just note these are also the same as Leela's axe pieces. Move these from her foot. Just throw her down there like a sack of flour. Pop these back in. Then you just take after there you just flip these pieces around again and pop these right in here like so and then you've got all these gigantic tridents again. I mean, this thing is big. I mean, goodness gracious. I mean, it doesn't even seem that big on the box. I mean, look at that. That doesn't seem that big at all. But it's pretty large. So, I mean, you can use the gear function to flail that around, and it really does by definition, flail around. Let's put that out like that. Whew, goodness. So look, now her arm's all disjointed. All right. Stand her up. There we go. So, yeah, see, that's the problem with the shoulder armor up. That fell off, but you know, her shoulder armor, it kind of has to be like that or else it doesn't work too well. Um, taking a look at her mask, I do like her mask. It's kind of a nice mix of the old one with kind of some modern twists in there. I really do like it. It's not my favorite of the new masks, but it still looks good because, I mean, you can kind of see the original mask features in here because you've got kind of the scuba mask type lines. So that's really nice. So, anyway, let's get into some size comparisons. Eh, you know what, I want to take her weapon out so we can get a better sense of size here. I'll leave the bottom bit in, but... Uh, her legs kind of flail, flail around a bit, goodness. She's not the sturdiest figure, at least mine isn't. I don't know. It probably doesn't have to do with the transclearant bits. But if she could stand. There we go. Okay. So now, for size comparison. Here she is with Onua. She is bigger than Onua. And then here she is with Tahu. She's just the teeniest bit shorter than Tahu at the head. And she, here she is with her... Uh, he's in the way. Got another the shot, Tahu. Alright, here she is with her uh, other $15 buddy, Liwa. They're pretty much the same exact size. So, moving Liwa, and then we've got Kopaka. Move the shield. There we go. And he's kind of in front of her. Now I'm going to move the box so I can 
get them side by side accurately. There we go. And they are also about the same size. Tahu is definitely the biggest of the $20 sets. So there you have that. Uh, those are your size comparisons to see how she stacks up. Um, yeah, she's a pretty nice figure. Uh, like all of these, I'm liking all of these Bionicle 2015 sets. They're really nice. Um, although with her, she is probably my least favorite out of all of them. Uh, she just seems to be more of the generic of them all. I don't. I don't know. Um, I mean, they're all really good, fantastic sets, but this one just seems uh, she just doesn't exactly trip my trigger so much, so to speak, as the rest of them. Um, I mean, yeah, she's a fifteen-dollar set, so she's a little simpler, has a smaller piece count. She may have the smallest amount. No, nope, Pohatu has the smallest amount of pieces. Um, so never mind that statement where I was going. Um, the pros is is that well, she's a Bionicle, so hey, you got that. She's got that going for her. Uh, Bionicle 2015 is here, thank goodness. Um, her color scheme is consistent, so that's good. Uh, and then you know, as I said, the color scheme is consistent, so when she has the golden mask, it really stands out and makes her look like she's got something special. Um, the cons, though, is that the trident is just huge. I mean, it's so big, it's just, it's cumbersome, really. I mean, you know, it's hard to hold, and then it, and it's just, and it's, when she's, it's just right in front of her face. Really, the best pose is something I've seen from the online animations. Oh, so that happened. And that's the problem with that pose, is that you try to get that up so you can see her face, but then it kind of makes her a bit back heavy. So you have to position her just right. See, there we go. There we go. It's much better. Yeah. So there we go. Now we can see her face. So, it, it, so yeah, the, the big trident, it's large and it's also very long because of that. So, eh, I mean, it's still a good set. It's just not my favorite. So I'd, mm, I'd give this one a 7 out of 10. Just not, just didn't thrill me as much as the other ones. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review. Thank you for watching. Join me next time when uh, I review The Master of Stone.